Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Well, you see, I was watching Superman and I find it so awesome that he fights bad guys, protects the citizens, and saves the day just in the nick of time. But Superman, like any other superheroes, is unfortunately just a fictional character. Do you know what will really protect your body from harm? That's right, your lymphatic system. It can protect you from harm, more specifically from infections. Don't believe me? Well then, let me and my friends show you what your lymphatic system is all about. So this is your lymphatic system. It is closely related to your circulatory system. While the circulatory system transports blood, the lymphatic system moves lymph fluid or just lymph throughout your body. The lymphatic system works hand in hand with the circulatory system. You may think that your blood vessels have thick walls without any leaks, but hate to break it up to you, that's not true. Blood vessels can leak, just like any other type. But the lymphatic system makes sure that the leaked blood returns back to your bloodstream. That's so cool, right? Your lymphatic system is a hard-working part of your body. You say you don't like cleaning? Well, your lymphatic system does. It actually cleans up leak fluids in your body. I bet you didn't even know you had leaks inside of you, right? This is called the intracellular fluid. Let's just put it this way. Your body is mostly water. In fact, it's more than 60% water, so that's more than half of you. Most of this fluid is found in your cells and blood, but some can get out. Yes, they can get out, but don't worry, your lymphatic system sweeps up this fluid and returns it to your bloodstream. If it didn't clean up these leaks, the fluid would build up in your body tissues and would swell up like a balloon. You don't want that to happen now, do you? <laughs> That's good to know. Your lymphatic system is made up of lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and organs. At the ends of your lymph vessels are lymph capillaries. You can think of lymph capillaries as little vacuum cleaners because their job is to pick up leak fluids. The lymph capillaries pass the fluid along to the lymph vessels. All of your lymph vessels travel toward your neck. When they arrive, they dump the fluid into large veins so that the fluid can get back into your bloodstream. As the lymph fluid travels toward your neck, it passes through lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small collections of tissue shaped like beads scattered throughout the lymphatic system. Lymph nodes make white blood cells, which are the good guys of your immune system. They remove bacteria and other bad cells that cause diseases from the lymph fluid. You actually have hundreds of lymph nodes in your body. Clusters of them can be found in your neck, armpits, and thighs. Did your doctor ever feel your neck when you had a sore throat? The doctor was probably feeling for swollen lymph nodes. Sometimes, your lymph nodes swell when they're busy fighting off an infection. How awesome is that? Your body also has a set of lymph organs whose job is to support the lymphatic system. One example is the thymus, which is a specialized organ of the immune system located between the breastbone and heart. It 
produces lymphocytes and is important for T-cell maturation. Another is the spleen. It is an organ in the upper left abdomen which filters blood, disposes worn out red blood cells, and provides a reserve supply of blood. Different parts of the spleen specialize in different kinds of immune cells. Isn't that amazing? The lymphatic system also plays an important role in the immune system which develops all kinds of cells that help destroy bacteria. As I mentioned earlier, the lymphatic system makes white blood cells that protect the body from diseases. They are like tiny soldiers inside our bodies. Examples of these cells are the T cells and B cells, which are involved in fighting specific microbes. Some of the main organs involved in the immune system include the spleen, lymph nodes, thymus, and bone marrow. You didn't know that, did you? Well, now you know! <laughs> so you see, your lymphatic system is a lot like Superman, only it is real and it's inside your body. Without it, nothing will remove waste products produced by your cells. Nothing will drain the excess fluids and proteins from tissues all around your body and return them back into your bloodstream. Most especially, nothing can protect you from disease causing germs and infections. That's such a scary thing to imagine, right? Well, thank your lymphatic system because it keeps you strong and healthy and make you do all the activities you want to do. So next time when you, hey, hey, what's that? Is that a bird? Is that a plane? No, silly. It's just your lymphatic system fighting infections and saving your life. Thank you for sharing with us some of your precious time. We hope you learned a thing or two about the lymphatic system. Once again, we are the Vertebrates and we are signing off. Till next time folks! Bye.